who doesn't love a really good dupe? I have six new finds for you, my friends. They are really great products that mostly you can find at the drugstore, a couple online, but they're still awesome prices that are going to save you from breaking the piggy bank or dipping into that pocketbook. We're gonna save you some money and find out some dupes right now. Hi, my friends. This is one of my favorite videos to create for you. I've gotten a little flack recently about making too many dupes videos, but I'm telling you, there are so many times when I can find things that just work fantastic. I am always on the hunt for something at the drugstore, but it seems like I'm trying out a lot more high end lately, which there are a lot of things that I really love that I feel like maybe couldn't be substituted. But when I find a substitute, I'm going to definitely bring it to you. I have six today for you, which I'm actually really super excited about because a lot of these things are things that people are using a lot right now. And I wanted to make sure that I brought you the best of the best of the dupes. So we're going to start out with one that I really love. Now, everybody loves Kitten from Stila. This is a liquid eyeshadow. This is a great eyeshadow. It is super brightening. So if you put this on your eyelid, Look at the brightness that it's gonna bring. Look at the shimmer and the light. What's beautiful about a liquid eyeshadow for a mature woman is if you do a light coat, if you go in too thick, I don't care if you're not an aging woman with you know crinkly skin, you go in too thick with that and you're gonna have a mess on there and it's gonna cake and it's gonna feel weird during the day. But this one is such a lovely shadow that it doesn't show up that texture on my wrinkly eyelids. I just really think it's Pretty, but you get all of that light from there. And again, this is Kitten from Stila, one that has been one of their cult classics forever. Now, this is Moon from e.l.f. And this one is almost part near, completely identical in color. And it has that same property. It look, it's so dang close that, I mean, I'm looking at it like not in any sort of light and the, it is so close to the same one what i love about this from elf is it has the same kind of property it's really thin and you can layer it if you need to put more layers on there but because it is the liquid eyeshadow it doesn't tend to show that texture that i have on my eyes so this one is a dead on dupe. So texture, the way it lays, the way it wears throughout the day, since it's a liquid, it's going to cling to your eyelids all day long. I really like Elf's. Uh, I'm not crazy about the glitter, but the metallic ones are beautiful. And same thing with Stila. They have their glitter ones too, but the metallic ones are the ones that I like the best. So love both of those, but you save a ton of money with the Elf one. All right, the next one you have probably seen tons and tons and tons. The Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Everybody is using this right now, it seems like. And everybody is talking about how good it is. Has a doe foot applicator. I think mine is in light. Um, let's see. Yes, mine is in two light. And it is beautiful. It's really beautiful. Now, I will say that this lays really pretty on the skin. It does um, a really good job of feeling quite hydrating. I can feel what feels like perhaps maybe a little bit of dimethicone in there because it is a primer. So they want it to slip across and they want it to be one that just kind of catches the light. So it's up here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that very well, but it just kind of catches the light and it goes, it's underneath your foundation. You can mix it in with your foundation. It's a beautiful product. I think that it just lays really well on the skin. Um, it gives a luminosity without giving too much glow. I really like it, but I barely used hardly any on there. Now, now, very recently, Makeup Revolution sent me their Fix and Glow. This is the Ultra Glow Primer. This is so much like it. The only difference is that was very yellow and this is very pink. However, when this I put a ton on there. Now that's not fair because I put way more on there than I did of the Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm going to take a little bit off and I'm going to start to work that in just like I did with the Charlotte Tilbury. Now, what is beautiful about this one for me is it works in the same exact way. I had to find my rag and get that off my finger. Okay. So it works in just the same exact way. Now I don't, 
I can't tell the difference. I know that this one was a little bit more on the yellow side and then this was more on the pink. But when I'm looking at it right there and I'm showing it to you guys, there's no difference whatsoever in the two. So when you shear them out, even though one might be one hue and the other be the other, there's no way to tell any difference. And I can still feel that little bit of dimethicone in the Makeup Revolution one as well. I personally feel like underneath foundation, you couldn't possibly tell any difference. So this isn't one where I feel like this is a dead on dupe at all. This is a like buy this, not that for the price tag, because I feel like it does the same thing. You can't tell that I have the Charlotte Tilbury on underneath my foundation on this side, and I have the Makeup Revolution underneath this side. You can't tell that. There's, It's just so subtle underneath the foundation that there's no way to tell it. So if you want to try that out, you've been thinking about it, but there's no way you can pull the plug on that price tag, this is just a really good substitution. And, and, and again, it's not an exact dupe because it's not that color, however, I feel like it's better personally. All right, something that people went gaga for when it first came out was the Milk Makeup Little Bronzer. This is this is a little one. This is a sample one that I got or the mini one that I got. I got it because it was, I didn't know if I was gonna like it that much, but I really do like it. Let me just show you something. Look at that. That is not coming off. That's what those liquid shadows do. They're not gonna come off. Isn't that cool? So that's so great. Okay, back to the bronzer. All right, so I'm gonna show you, this is the bronzer from Milk Makeup. I like this a lot. However, can you see how um, kind of more on the tan side that is? So it has an undertone of more yellow or more orange. So for me, even though this is a great delivery system, beautiful product, I love the way that this shears out and how this goes across your skin. You can use a brush to do that. You can do it with your feet fingers, you can do it with a beauty sponge, whatever you decide, you know, go ahead and use that. However, I feel like this new one that I got from Catrice, and I did get this off of the Catrice website, so everybody knows it's not available on Ulta, but they do have fairly low free shipping on it. So this is the Triangle Artist Contour Stick from Catrice. This is not a contour stick. It comes in a triangle, like it says, like the name says. I don't feel like it is a contour for me because it's still not a muddy enough color. However, look how much more muddy it is than this one. This is why I like it so much better. If you are looking for something that is a contour, you know, this is a good one for most people, unless you're super cool like I am. However, I use it for a bronzer. Again, up here, I'm going to be just kind of buffing it out. It has a red undertone. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it as well. Same exact consistency on it, but I like the one from Catrice so much better because of the color. By the way, I couldn't do one on one side, another on the other side because the difference in the colors, but I do have the Catrice one on my face as my bronzer today. So basically, if you are somebody that just has a really hard time finding bronzers that are very orange, this one is supposed to be a contour but it's a bronzer for me. It is on that red side. It's just so pretty. Hopefully you guys are gonna be able to see the difference in the two. You can definitely tell that this one has more of a cool tone. This one has more of a tan, um, warm tone on it. I love them both for their consistency. They're identical, but for color, for me, that one cannot be beat. All right, one thing that I got sent from City Beauty is the Skin Perfecting Daily Veil with a Sunscreen um, Broad Spectrum of 39. This is gorgeous. This is a beautiful, beautiful product. It has the dimethicone in it. You can feel the dimethicone in it, which is what fills in the, the pores. And I love that it has that um, full spectrum SPF in it. Fantastic. I use this constantly. Press it into my pores, my, you know, large lines and different things. And it makes my skin look like silk. I I love, love, love this stuff. It works so well and it definitely has that slip to it. So if you're somebody that doesn't like a primer with a slip to it, you probably won't like this one. But I love that slip because that tells me that it's filling in my pores and going to make my foundation look better. Now, it does have the SPF in it. I just feel like it ticks off so many boxes. I feel like it's a tiny bit hydrating, not too much, but a tiny bit hydrating. 
So in for me walks Revlon with the Colorstay Prep and Protect Primer and this one has an SPF of 34 in it. So pretty dang close and it's broad spectrum again but you know why I like this one? Because it does have a tiny bit more of the hydration in it. And you're going to see how it will just kind of flow down my hand. The other one was much thicker. Um, this definitely has the dimethicone in it. It feels really nice and it has that slip across it. But I like the high extra hydration property of this one. It just, for me, it's a buy this, not that situation. Now, again, I have the City Beauty on this side and I have the Revlon on this side and you can't tell the difference in my makeup. I mean, if you got super duper close, you couldn't because it's it's primer. It's not like it's your foundation where you can kind of see the difference in the two. But for feel across my skin, this feels exactly the same. And the other thing is I feel like I have to use less of the Revlon than I do of the City Beauty because the Revlon kind of spreads out a little bit easier, but they both leave that gorgeous finish on my skin. I absolutely love both of them, but I like the Revlon a little bit better because my skin is so dry. Quite a while ago, I was sent from Kevin Aquan this concealer. This is a really really interesting concealer okay i'm going to read to you what this says this says the sensual skin enhancer so it's technically not a concealer my color is sx03 technically not a concealer you can use this as your makeup all over look how little i've used okay here's the thing with this you guys this is an uber uber concentrated pigmented product that i use as a concealer and to you know occasionally go over different parts of my face but mostly as a concealer it's extremely thick i mean extremely thick it's like almost a pancake makeup do you remember when we used to get the pancake makeup anyway this is very emollient and very creamy and i just touched my finger in there and i got like 80 times too much so basically all you need is the tiniest amount of this. And even though you feel like you don't have enough, put it between your fingers and use the finger that doesn't have as much on it and go in. Because if you go in with too much, it's gonna crease almost instantly. But if you go in with the right amount, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get this beautiful coverage on your under eyes that are super wrinkly and crinkly. I like, I have, bad laugh lines that normally everything settles into but this kevin aquan product is so emollient that it doesn't make anything look cakey or dry under there if i use a tiny tiny amount now that's the trick to it but it lasts all day it covers like a dream i have terrible dark circles they're very very purple this product is beautiful beautiful, beautiful. And I have loved it since I got it. And it's going to last me like five years because I don't think I could ever use all of that. The other day I was about to declutter this out of my collection. And this is from Makeup Revolution also. And I was like, holy smokes, that is a dupe for the Kevin Aquan. Now here's the difference. Color. That's it. This color is um, light beige. So this is a super concentrated concealer as well. This one is called Conceal and Fix Ultimate Coverage Concealer with Salicylic Acid. So you just barely need to stick your finger in there again. I mean, it is so pigmented. There is so much in there. And I actually did use this on this eye, use the Kevin Aquan on this eye. You're not going to be able to tell the difference. Maybe a tiny bit in color because as you can tell the two, I'll hold them up here for you. As you can tell, the two have a little bit different color. This is a little bit more yellow. This is a little bit lighter. But when I got on my eyes, you know, and I'm using such a tiny sheer amount, you can't really tell the difference. You aren't going to be able to tell the difference in consistency either. It is an identical consistency. Have you ever tried the Bye Bye Pores, or I'm sorry, the Bye Bye Under Eyes from It Cosmetics that thick, thick concealer? And it, you probably hated it because you might have gotten too much. This is like that. This is along that consistency. But the difference for me is this lasts a lot longer and you need just a fraction of an amount. And that really truly is the difference here is when you're using any sort of concealer, I'm finding that my under eyes 
really love me if I don't use so much and that's the problem You know you go in there and you dot it with your doe foot applicator It's never gonna work. You have to almost put it on your hands Use a tiny amount go back in if you have to with a little bit more, but these two there's no way you could tell any difference. You couldn't possibly tell that I had one or the other on my under eyes because of their coverage is so good. And then also because the consistency is exactly the same and it doesn't make me look cakey or like I'm the crypt keeper underneath my eyes at all. Now I will say that because of its emollients under here, you probably will need to set it with some setting spray or possibly if you set it with powder, whichever you do, because it is a really emollient one and it might crease on you a little bit. But the beauty of it is that if you're an older woman with tons of you know, creases and fine lines underneath there, then you can use this and it's not gonna dry you out more like Tarte Shape Tape Original might do or the Too Faced Born this way. Those are ones that really dry me out and they really, even e.l.f. Original Camo Concealer can make me look awful underneath my eyes so this one is just beautiful for my aging under eyes all right last product is from lancome and this is the new idol mascara now i wasn't super impressed with this but i know that there are a lot of people that absolutely love this mascara this wand is a tiny bit curved and the thing about it is it's very flexible and so i guess the premise behind that is you can really wiggle it into the bottom or the base of the eyelashes and then pull it up and i i like it it's okay but it wasn't like the best mascara i had ever tried but as i was looking through my mascaras i think i did that um, mascara video where i showed you like I think it was 30 mascaras. I was noticing this mascara, the Sky High from Maybelline. And I do have this one on this eye and the Tint Eye Doll, not Tint Eye Doll, just the Eye Doll Lashes on this side. And this one is the same Bendy wand right there. It doesn't have a curve on it on the Maybelline one, but it does work my eyelashes and give me so much better length, volume, curling hold it's going to be there all day it doesn't smudge the eye doll is going to smudge just a tiny bit through the day just on my upper lashes because you can see how my lashes kind of touch up there on almost by my eyebrows that part of that is this mascara because even though i went in with this eye doll on this eye i went in with this on this eye and then i was like oh man and then i just tipped these on this eye with the sky high from maybelline because it was so much longer giving me so much more length so i know i switched the high end and the yeah, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, this one is the Lash Eye Doll and this one is the Sky High. But in this case, this is not just a dupe situation. This is a cheaper and better because the Sky High made my lashes look better than the Eye Doll did. And yeah, I really like it a lot. And I love that you can get it at such a reasonable price compared to this one. Just really great to be able to bring you guys things that are better cheaper and work and perform every bit as nicely but maybe even in some cases are even a little bit better so i hope that you did like the dupes video today i know i didn't have very many but i'm glad that i got to bring you a few i always love to bring you these kinds of videos and you kind of get to see what's on my face as well thank you so much for stopping by give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy seeing the dupes and if you do enjoy seeing my dupes videos i really appreciate that thanks everyone for watching through today if you got to the end i always appreciate that too hope everybody is happy and healthy and i'll catch you in my next video bye friends love you